guys, it's Carol. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to San Salvador, El Salvador's amazing city tour. So we are here at the Hyatt Centric here in San Salvador, El Salvador. One of the newest hotels, an extremely modern addition to San Salvador. Come, let me show you around our room. Everything in this hotel is so detail oriented. All of the art is inspired by El Salvador. Surf City references are everywhere. Let me show you around and let's start here in the bathroom. Come on. This is our bathroom. It's an open concept, but it feels more like a spa. Over here is the shower. This is awesome. I could live in here. I think it's bigger than my first apartment. All the shampoo and body wash that you need is in here too. Made in Italy. Very nice. There's a bench, overhead shower, and a handheld shower. So cool. Over here are the sinks. And this mirror, it even lights up. <laughs> we have a blow dryer, a robe, everything you could possibly need. And the bathroom part of the bathroom even is its own little compartment here. So it's very private. Let's check out the sleeping area just behind us over here. This is the sleeping slash living area. And this room is huge. This bed is super comfortable too. And all of this art, this is what I was talking about. Can you see a turtle in here? Because I can. These chairs are really comfortable. But this view, man, this is just breathtaking. You can really tell that we're in the heart of the city here. La Gran Via is right behind me. It's really centrally located. Everything is so close by to this hotel. It's a really awesome location. And I love the fact that there's complimentary water and coffee. They have an own Keurig maker and they even made their own specialty blend of coffee. Check it out, you guys. <laughs> there's a mini fridge and a safe for all of your valuables. There's Wi-Fi and AC. And check out this giant television right above this awesome work area. This desk is actually inspired by a surfboard. Cowabunga, dude. But because we are here as a family, we don't just have this room. We have the adjoining room right over here for the girls. I want to show you guys. Come on, let's check it out. The girls' suite is actually directly attached to ours, which is a cool option as a family because you know that your children are close by so you can sleep totally secure at night, but you also get your own privacy, which is pretty awesome. They have their own ensuite bathroom as well with all of the awesome amenities, including the walk-in shower with dual shower heads, all the shower gels and shampoos that they could need. But the layout in here is slightly different because they actually get their own beds as well. There's two beds in this room. They have their own awesome view as well. Miss Phoenix is displaying that over there. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> and Luna is displaying their own desk area with their <laughs> with their tablet surfboard desk. They also have their own flat screen TV so they can watch cartoons tonight. Well, Carlos and I get to watch whatever we want for a change. It is epic. But there's so much to see and do here, you guys. I cannot wait to show you around. Let's check it out. to the fact that we are here at the Hyatt in the middle of San Salvador and we are going to go on an amazing city tour with that expat mom and we're going to take you guys with us. Let's go. Okay everyone. 
everyone, good morning. I am Adonis Gomez and today I'm gonna be your tour guide. So right now we move to the historical center. It's at least 40 minutes, 30 minutes in a way. Okay. Um, I feel excited because I will explain a lot of things in, in the historical center like the National Palace, the National Theater, uh, different square you will see there. So if you have questions, please just let me know. I'm here to answer everything. to go on the amazing city tour with that expat mom. You guys, I am so excited. We are officially launching our tours, amazing tours. So if you head on over to thatexpatmom.com, you can check out all the tours that we have available, including this one. And I'm so excited to be able to kick it off with you guys while we're staying at the Hyatt, one of our favorite partners that we're here to share with you guys. gotten to see a whole lot of downtown San Salvador and this is the historic center. We're going to take a look at a lot of awesome buildings, a lot of history and architecture from El Salvador. Welcome to the Rosario Church. Here we have the most beautiful church in Central America. Why? Because if you see it has like a style circle, uh -huh. it has different glasses. So that different glasses in the middle of different colors, uh, red, blue, green, it's amazing. So apparently in order to enter the church, you can't go in shorts. Oops, I didn't know that. So we're going to try to figure that out right now. So we're about to enter the church. They let me borrow this cool little skirt thing. So I can enter because it's important to dress appropriately and make sure that you wear either knee length shorts or a skirt to enter. This is beautiful. I can't describe it, it's just look, it goes all around. It's just stunning. There are no words. There are no words. the first cathedral in El Salvador. Okay. Even in the year 1821, when it was our independence like Salvadoran people, 
here the process process is the fathers of the country who made possible the independence. Okay. Read. All those people they read the independence and this place. But wow. for Ayelque the cathedral fell down. And after years they built this uh, Rosario Church, the most beautiful uh, church in Central America. And they built it in the same spot that the cathedral exactly. that came down during the earthquake. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So let's show, I will show something back in the end of the church because there are crypt, a tomb. Guess who was there or who is there rest? Is the cursor Jose Matias Delgado who made possible independence. Wow. You know who this is? This is like having George Washington's tomb. That's who he is. It's who freed Central America. What? In 1911. This place is breathtaking. This is breathtaking. It is so beautiful and everyone is so nice. You have to wear a mask to enter right now and you should cover your knees. If you're a woman, wear pants or a longer skirt or shorts, but they were nice enough to loan me this little scarf so I can appreciate everything you're seeing right now. You have to see this for yourself. Different day, 5 of November 1811. That is the day when the processors made the first law of independence. Okay. Because they are one of independence like a republic like El Salvador. Uh, 1911 is the 100 years after that day, and they start to building this place. So we are in the oldest place in whole El Salvador. From that place, they start to build the streets, neighborhoods, and towns and cities. See the columns? That one we call them portales. Here we have three different portales: Occidental Portal, La Dalia Portal, and Occidental Portal. And in that building you will see a date. You will see 1885. So that's the day when they built in that uh, portal. And then it's uh, there in 1960, this other portal. And what happened in this area? So in this area it And this area it was the commercial. So everyone sell their rice, corn, coffee, clouds, everything. And the Salvadorian people comes to San Salvador and they buy everything here. Did you see that I had to duck a bird? This one it was the first bank in El Salvador. Right now it's a library in the museum. It's closed because they are working, they are in right. And the original bank is a, a couple of meters from this way. And right there is the Chico. <laughs>
Woo! This is amazing. This is beautiful. What do you think of this, Lou? It's hot, but I love the pink. <laughs> yeah. Right now is the Rosario Church, the first cathedral, it was there, so for an earthquake fell down. The, then they start to build the second cathedral, it's under this one, under this one, under. because yes, they burn and they destroy everything. And we have the third cathedral, it's the Divino Salvador del Mundo. There are three altars. There's the one directly in the back and then one on either side flanking. And every detail, I mean, the ceiling is breathtaking. The chandelier up front, it has cupid faces all over it. It's just, it's beautiful. It is, it is breathtaking. This is like a tomb, and he is Monseñor Romero. What happened? Why we are here? So, Monseñor Romero he was the priest in El Salvador. So, we had a bit trouble in the civil war between 1980 and 1992. 12 years about civil war. And that moment, we had a trouble with the army and, and Salvadorian people. So the most affected always in every war is the, the population, you know? In, in this case, Salvadorian people, it was the, the affected. So in that moment, Monseñor Oscar Arnulfo Romero support the poor people because the poor people, they were affected with the civil war. So the army, for the army, it was something bad. The army took the decision to kill him. He was in the middle of the ceremony and someone was in a bit in the house and for the reason someone was with a big gun and they shot him. The bullet threw the heart and that moment he passed away. After years uh, the Papa became in a son a Monsignor Romero. Monsignor Romero is the only one son in a Salvador. For the reason is the most important person in the Salvador. Even we had the name and the our national airport, the national airport Monseñor Orca Nufo Romero in Galdames. The biggest highway in El Salvador has the same name, Monseñor Oscar Arnulfo Romero. This is an amazing square and you have to come here, it's amazing. The environment, the music. 
you feel the restaurant, the food, the Salvadorian kitchen over there. Yeah, I can smell everything. So we just finished the amazing city tour and you guys, it was, it was amazing. It was incredible. I did not think that I would learn so much about El Salvador while we were there, but it was, it was just amazing. What was your favorite part, Lou? Chasing the pigeons. What about the rainbow church? <laughs> what about the guy who was dressed up like a statue? That was cool too. <laughs> they are tired. They walked their little feet off, but they had fun. We had a blast. I highly, highly recommend this trip. That expat mom approved and that expat mom tours on the website. Go check them out right now at thatexpatmom.com and sign up for your amazing city tour. It feels like you're gonna swim right off the building, but it's epic. The sun right now is starting to go down and it's just beautiful out. That looks good. shower and get ready because it's time to go to this amazing breakfast buffet that I've heard so much about. Um, I'm about to get on the elevator again though. I'm not a fan of elevators. Let's do this together, okay? Eight floor, almost there. We made it!
grew up back and forth between San Diego and Las Vegas. And so I'm no stranger to a good buffet, but this isn't a good buffet. This is an amazing buffet. Yum. This is incredible. Now this is what a breakfast should look like at the hotel. in the car but we are checking out okay. unfortunately i'm so sad to leave this has been an epic trip totally. honestly this is we don't want to go <laughs> the food is so good the bed is so comfortable the pool was so much fun do you want to leave no no everyone's bummed out we don't want to go and the bed is so good <laughs> but we'll be back and we highly recommend you make your way over here everything in this hotel is so detail oriented that was loud. <laughs> there is la, 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 its own special. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. I just about had a heart attack. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am terrified of elevators. And I pressed the button to go to the eighth floor. We're on the top, and it started moving, and then it stopped. And I'm like, and we couldn't get it to open. We couldn't. And then Carlos remembered, you gotta use the key. Mustachio goes down here under your nose. No. Mustachio. Mustachio. No. What is that, Phoenix? Mustachio. 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 Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> 